sometimes people are saying, I'm not broken. What I need is a different world that lets me live in it too. I'm Sarah Hendren and I'm the lab director at the Adaptation and Ability Group. The world I'd like to live in is an inclusive world. The world I think we live in now is making gains in that direction. I think sometimes though that engineering, especially for disability, has a kind of myth about it that is a heroic myth that engineering only exists to rescue people who are thought to be broken. And I think actually an inclusive world puts people at the center rather than a focus on the technology itself. I actually didn't get into this work until about 10 years ago. I have a son with Down syndrome and a number of family members who identify as autistic and so watching them navigate the world with atypical bodies and minds and with my background in artifacts and material culture I thought there's so much more here that can be done. What else might we know about the world if we ask atypical people to tell us more about what they need and what they know? This is a single step entrance in Boston where I live and single step entrances are all over the place in New York and Toronto. The single step entrance is a gray area in the architectural code of the Americans with Disabilities Act and it's one step, right? So it should be solvable. Meanwhile, I'm thinking about the ramp as also providing a kind of expressive physics in the built environment with skateboarders who are also using wheeled gear, also marginalized, kind on the edge of cities. So I thought, how could you design a material ramp that would be both functional for this access purpose and also create a kind of physics for this play purpose? And in doing so, would you maybe associate play a little bit more with wheelchair use? And that's, I think, the key difference at the lab is taking a kind of accommodationist stance around difference when it's called for. If people are asking us for a kind of fix in the traditional engineering paradigm, Fantastic, but this is a project to kind of co-design for one person. You can see here that Amanda is short-statured. She has a form of dwarfism. So for her, it's really difficult to give a lecture at a typical podium. So Amanda came to us and said, what I really want is a piece of furniture that is lightweight, portable, collapsible, that I could take with me in my suitcase so that there's a room in which my body looks like it's performing at scale. Four students at Olin and I designed this carbon fiber podium. You can see here that it packs flat. It's got magnets inside. So when Amanda goes to an event and they introduce her, in real time she will unfold this thing. So imagine what that does to a room that's scaled for the typical body. It sort of compresses and shrinks to her scale. It's a way for engineering to live in a social context and to do a social work.